Yo, yo, yo. So in today's book review, we got The Grand Design by your boy, Stephen Hawking. And he explains the universe and how it all works. So without further ado, straight into the notes. Opening picture, the golden ratio, the 432 hertz Fibonacci sequence. So I want to say it showed... This John, the golden spiral. You see it everywhere. You see it in like a seashell, fruit, nature, everywhere. And that's the golden ratio to where you add up two numbers. So you start out with like a little dot and then it goes in a circle and gets bigger and bigger and it divides into here. And then you make a bigger square that's twice the size, twice the size, twice the size, and it keeps going for infinity. So it's like one plus one equals two, two plus two equals four, or my bad, one, it's like one and one, then that equals two, and then two plus one equals three, three plus one equals four, four plus one equals five, something like that, something like that. Very cool stuff though. Atoms are uncuttable. When you break it down to the smallest object in the universe, you go down to the atom, but you can't cut it in half. And it's very cool because if we're all made up of atoms, the end of the day we're all the same no matter if you're like a rock a tree everything is pretty much exactly the same uh so that's pretty cool to think of so think of it like your cells imagine your cells die and repair a new one's birth every single minute even though you're the same throughout the whole thing just like if you were to die with your body as a conscious as a whole you wouldn't even understand you would, or you wouldn't even really notice death or when you die because it's like things you're made up of die and rebirth every single whatever amount of minutes so i thought that was very cool i think i got that from another book um all things rise from a primary substance and return to it so you know we all come from something and then we go right back bodies accelerate their speed when they come closer to their natural state of rest do we have free will surround yourself with people like how two waves collide to become bigger waves rather than when you wave and in a, uh, another collides and it crashes through the both of you like people when waves meet they can tend to either enhance or diminish our lives according to quantum physics no matter how much information we obtain or how powerful our computing abilities the outcomes of our physical processes cannot be predicted with certainty it's always randomized so think of it like this as soon as you put your attention on something that's when the wave or would be like energy would collapse into physical matter and it can literally be like anywhere in the universe every single time. So it's always been around you. You just haven't noticed yet. And then as soon as you put your attention on it and your energy on it, it's everywhere. Just think about it like, you know, certain color, maybe certain, certain car or mind you of a certain person. As soon as you start looking for it, you see it everywhere. You'll be like, oh, I want to attract money. And then you start seeing money everywhere and all the opportunities to get it and such. So uh, very, very cool stuff. I want to say it's like, something like proton or neutron you don't know or my bad inside the atom there is like a proton a neutron an electron you don't know where the electron is going to be at it's randomized in in the atom it's randomized in the circle so you never know where it's precisely going to be every single time it's always randomized so therefore it like makes so so there's like infinite realities infinite outcomes so that way in your reality you can pretty much do whatever you want because there are infinite outcomes so that is a uh, pretty cool to take into life because then you realize oh i can achieve anything out here in these streets nature does not dictate the outcome of any process or experiment even in the simplest of situation god throws dice before deciding the result of every physical process so it's what do you call it so it's pretty much always randomized like nature kind of just throws the dice and you know one through six which is kind of crazy right according to quantum physics you cannot just observe something that is quantum physics it recognizes that you have to, to that to make an observation you must interact with the object you are observing so just like anything else in life you could always observe something but if you never interact with it it's not really going to change your life you have to actually put in action towards whatever it may be 
an electric current can make a magnetic field and a magnetic field can create an electrical current. Electromagnetism. Electromagnetic fields and propagate through space as a wave. Light itself is an electromagnetic field. If you walk or you're walking in a plane back to your seat with mo while moving two miles an hour, a guy on the ground says you moved 500 miles per hour. A guy on the moon says 16 miles per second. So it's all about where you're coming from or your perspective. Four known forces, gravity, electromagnetism, weak nuclear force, strong nuclear force. Space is ever expanding. Space time uh, warps is when you have three dimensions, vertical, horizontal, and space time. So bam, bam, and then you space time. So you can see everything happen, play out in real life. Imagine a billiard table and a ball shooting the ball in a curved rather than a straight in depth hole. It's faster to go around the depth than through it with a straight line. So they say the fastest way to go through everything in life is with the, uh, what do you call it? a straight line. But the better way is like, if you were to go like this. So say you're here, here, the fastest way I'm supposed to say is a straight line, but instead you can bend it and then you know, put a hole put a hole through it and then bam. So that is uh, also pretty, pretty cool stuff. But in the billiard ball thing he was saying, so imagine the thing's flat, right? The drum's flat and you wanna hit a ball from here to the pocket in this corner over here. If there is a, a very deep hole in the middle where the straight line is at and it goes down like two feet, you'd rather just go around, the, around it in a curve. It might be like, instead of three feet from here to here, but there's that hole that creates like an extra five feet downwards instead of going down, you go around it. Um, every point in the universe is connected and always has been one. Can't see that everywhere. The word game in the game of life is a misleading term. There are no winners or losers. In fact, there are no players. The game of life is not really a game, but a set of laws that govern a two-dimensional universe. Free will isn't a fundamental. Uh, it would be almost impossible to guess it has been or has a thousand trillion trillion particles. You couldn't solve the equation fast enough to predict what it would do. Any complex being has free will. So yeah, so like you can never make a computer that's fast enough to solve every single problem because it's happening so fast, uh, which is really mind blowing. Like you can never really make a computer that can tell what I can do because I am always changing and I always have free will to do something else. You can't really predict someone who is kind of crazy, something like that. Spontaneous creation is a reason there is something rather than nothing. And wouldn't you rather have something than nothing? Let's be honest. And that is it for the grand design. Uh, but uh, those are some crazy things to uh, think about. I always be thinking about free will and how it, uh, a lot of people say you do have it and don't, but it's kind of like a mixture because, you know, you get thrown into a place where you don't want to die. Like, let's say, for example, you throw me in front of like a moving train. I'm probably going to want to move out the way, you know, there's no really uh free will of me wanting to do the opposite. It's like to survive and all these things. It's like, we really want to eat food, drink water, do those basic things in life. Well, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, the grand design by Stephen King and Leonard Maldinov. Maldino forgot that guy. Didn't really do it in my book. So other than that, have a good day and